Hi, I'm Andrew from Abretsko Outdoors, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to use a scale to measure distance on a map. This is a very easy, simple skill that you can master with just a little bit of practice. The first thing you need to do is you need to locate the scale, and nine times out of 10, it's located in the legend. The scale looks something like this. It starts with zero, there's whole numbers on the right hand side, and there's incremental numbers on the left hand side. So all you need to measure distance on a map using a scale is a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. Let me show you how. Find your trail. Once you have your start point and end point, take your piece of paper and place the edge of it at the starting point of your trail. Once you do that, you're gonna lay the piece of paper alongside of the trail. Wherever the trail veers away from the piece of paper or goes underneath it, you're gonna make a hash mark like this. Take that point and move your paper so it's next to the trail. Wherever the trail veers away or goes underneath the paper, you make another hash mark. It's that easy. You repeat this process over and over and over until you reach the end of your trail. Take your piece of paper, take your starting point, and put it at the zero on the scale. Every time you measure a mile, Put a long hash mark on your piece of paper, then measure another mile and another mile. Once you run out of the miles, go to the left hand side of the scale and then use the incremental miles like this. So there you go. Now you have your total trail length so you can plan your trip. Pretty easy, right? But there is one more method and we call it the string method. With the string method, all you do is you take a piece of string and you actually trace the trail. Once you're done tracing the trail and you have your star point and end point, take your star point and then begin measuring the distance just like we did with the piece of paper. Those are the two methods that I use to measure distance on a map using a scale. Now this does take a little bit of practice. To practice this, get a map with known trail distances on it. Then use either method that I taught you to see if you can't match the distance on the map with the distance that you came up with on your own. Now this is part of my basic map reading series so check out my other videos to learn more about how to use a map while out on the trail. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you have a comment, leave it in the box below. For more amazing how-to videos, subscribe to Abretch Go Outdoors and make your next adventure the best ever. I'm Andrew from Abretch Go Outdoors. Happy adventures and I will see you on the trail.